breaking news. <laughs> so Floyd Mayweather just did an interview. It was posted about four hours ago with Fight Hype, which means it probably was done yesterday. Um, pretty much he just went over, is he going to fight Adrian Broner? He said no. He laughed about it. They talked about you know, what's he doing in the gym? It looks like he's preparing for a fight, throwing hard punches, combos looking good. And he said, nah, I'm just training. He also went into talking about how he doesn't want to end up like his uncle Roger. And, you know, pretty much he's not going to fight these young guys. No amount of money is worth the wear and tear on his body. And that was all brought up whenever he was talking about how he just did not want to end up like his uncle Roger. He also talked about people talking about he's broke, but then he talked about he makes seven figures a month, made smart investments, stuff like that. Then kind of a little bit of contradictory going on here because then he was talking about, um, you know, he's not going to fight a boxer that could sell out a small city. He wants somebody who could sell out a, a large country. So I, it was a little teeter in the line. Um, the last half of the interview was basically just him talking about how much money he has and how he made $300 million in one fight and Canelo's going to do it in 11 fights. So I don't know. Like that's the part that I know a lot of people don't like about Floyd, how he, you know, flosses what he has, talk about his money, talk about how rich he is. I know it rubs a lot of people the wrong way. I don't really care so much about it. Then he goes on to toot his horn a little more. And at the very end of the interview, he talked about he was happy about how his career went. Now, touching on what I said earlier, he did mention that he would be open to box and like say exhibitions or against nine boxers if the money made sense. But again, I will restate, in case you missed it, he is not open to fight young fighters for any amount of money. Let me rephrase. Not young fighters, but young boxers. He does not want to fight any of the young boxers for any amount of money because he just doesn't want the wear and tear on his body. And I can agree with that. But I think this interview right here and people bringing up the fact that he was supposedly going to fight Adrian Broner, which he dismissed, is just a testament to how great he actually was. See... Sometimes, like painters, greatness isn't really appreciated till after somebody's dead and gone. In boxing, sometimes people aren't appreciated till way after they're retired. Now, there's a lot of naysayers for Floyd Mayweather, but I, I still cannot think of anybody. Maybe Mike Tyson, because everybody's getting super hype about Mike Tyson coming back. Holyfield, nobody really cares that he said he's coming back. But Mike Tyson, everybody's excited. Who's he going to fight? Who's he going to fight? Imagination going wild. Outside of Mike Tyson, I don't think there's anybody. I mean, even Mike Tyson is really on that level because nobody's been asking Mike to come out of retirement. People keep trying to get Mayweather to come back to box and come out of retirement. They just want to see him fight again, want to see him fight again. And that, to me, is true greatness. When you're out of the sport for that long, and people are still trying to get you to come back, still trying to get you to fight a young lion, whether it be a undefeated Terrence Crawford, a Earl Spence, etc. When they're still trying to bring you back to fight the, I wouldn't even say next generation, the next generation underneath the next generation of fighters. That that's a testament to how good you really were. So again, there's not going to be an Adrian Broner fight. <laughs> And Floyd's not coming back to fight any type of high-quality boxer. He is open to fight other people in, I guess, other entertainment industries, maybe UFC, maybe movie actors, maybe foreign fighters. I don't know exactly what he meant by that. But again, he's not going to box against a boxer of any quality. So thank y'all for watching. Go ahead, give me a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down, or sub to the channel because it really helps me grow. Thank y'all again.